Thank you for watching. Uh, what you see over here is my uh, Proline Pro 2 uh, short course buggy. Started life out as a truck, I'm still really bad at muting my stuff. Uh, started life out as a short course truck like you see uh, over here on the box. Why do I uh, still have the box? There's just some uh, defect that I have. I uh, cling on to every box that, uh, that I get uh, with my RCs. Um, I don't know why. I just think that's fun. But in this case, it came in a bit handy. Look at uh, the size of uh, this box, which is a 10 scale short course. And then recently, Proline has released yet uh, another edition in their uh, lineup of uh, 10 scale trucks, uh, in addition to the Pro 2 uh, short course truck. They also uh, offer the short course buggy right now as a complete kit. So you don't have to uh, buy the conversion uh, anymore if you uh, want to achieve this kind of uh, result. And more recently they have released the Pro MT. Look at, I, I thought it was hilarious, look at uh, the size difference in uh, the box uh, right there. Pro MT, it is pretty much uh, based on the similar uh, on a similar principle as uh, the Pro 2, so it has a, a low center of gravity uh, chassis, has the power stroke shocks, has the full Pro track suspension. I'm not going to read everything that's on the box because uh, I'll just show you a few uh, close-ups. I'm not going to explain what you see in all the pictures. I think uh, one of the main differences is that uh, pre-installed uh, transmission, they've actually swapped out that last uh, plastic gear as well that was in there. Uh, and they put in uh, all steel gears right now. Uh, apart from that, nothing really surprising on uh, the box. I've seen a few people who said, uh, why do they release a two wheel drive uh, monster truck? Uh, you will eat your words after you have seen how the thing actually handles. I've seen a few videos of the Pro MT. It's really nimble uh, car, lots of uh, in-air control. Uh, why overcomplicate something uh, if it works really well the way it is? Uh, if you have all the air control, if it, uh, if it is bashable the way it is, then why would you want to add uh, the extra weight of a drivetrain uh, that also continues up front with an extra set of dog bones, stuff like that. Uh, one of the big differences between the Pro 2 and the Pro MT is the, the drivetrain system. Uh, they integrated a drivetrain system uh, with like uh, uh, CVDs in the Pro MT and they call it uh, the Pro uh, Spline because it has like splined axles. I thought that was also uh, kind of funny. Um, anyway, let me just take this thing out of the box. I already popped the seal. Uh, I don't feel like breaking out my chainsaw or uh, some ridiculous knife today. Um, as always, uh, clear instructions. This is a breeze to build, I think, if I look at it, uh, if I compare it to my, uh, my Pro 2. Pro 2 also was a really easy kit to build. I'll just uh, take off the body really quick. There's not that much to it. Everything is uh, performance uh, orientated. Uh, it's no different with uh, the Pro MT. It's a very bashable truck. I've seen people beat the absolute snot out of it uh, with uh, great success. Uh, or without any breakage. The power stroke shocks that you may be familiar with, uh, they, they perform really well. I have them on my Exoterra, I have them on my, uh, on my Pro 2s of course, and I also have them on my uh, Axial SEX10. I love these things, uh, aluminium caps, aluminium shock bodies, uh, very much uh, adjustable. You get some uh, 10 scale uh, trencher and tires pre-mount, pre-glued. Uh, no real surprises there, pretty cool uh, tire, but if I look at uh, the body, I think this is more of, uh, I know this is called a 10 scale, but I almost think that it's more of uh, a 12 scale than, uh, than it is a 10 scale. This is also why they managed to pack it down uh, the way they did, but this is exactly what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something that's uh, a bit more bashable than my uh, Pro 2. Uh, or that, that would uh, really ask for more of a beating in my Pro 2 and something that isn't quite as large or loud and obnoxious as my uh, Savage Octane. So this car for me, perfect, uh, perfect uh, size uh, and a really nice uh, in-betweener uh, with all the vehicles that I already own. 
uh, parts bag, uh, again, uh, pro track suspension setup, really not going to take you through the entire alphabetical order in which uh, all of these items are packed, because I don't think that that's uh, interesting. Instead, I will uh, fast forward after uh, emptying the box, um, fast forward a few hours, or maybe even a day, depending on how much time I have afterwards to build this uh, thing, uh, and show you the finished product because uh, I don't think it is interesting at all to show you how many bags you get exactly. Uh, if you know your alphabet, uh, this will not be anything difficult. Uh, all of the hardware is included, the shock oils are uh, also included, I think, uh, if it is uh, similar to uh, what you get in Pro 2. Uh, if not, you will hear afterwards that you need to uh, buy that perhaps in addition, but uh, I don't think you have. All of the quality of the Proline plastics and of the aluminium is uh, top notch. This is, uh, a f well, it's, it's based on the Pro 2, so it is uh, really race inspired. Uh, I'm sure there's a, a few more differences that I will uh, run into when I'm building the thing. But for now, the only main difference that I can really see are these two uh, rock guards uh, that come pre-installed on that uh, low center of uh, gravity chassis. Um, same color of uh, anodization on the chassis, uh, looks like uh, everything is pretty much uh, similar to uh, what you would find in your uh, Pro 2 kit. Uh, I love it, really cool stuff. Steering uh, setup is already uh, pre-installed. You already have the two brackets that you need to mount your uh, steering servo to. Even the Velcro straps that will hold your uh, battery in place are uh, pre-installed. So there's not a lot of work to do other than uh, install the A-arms, the wheel hubs, carriers, stuff like that. Uh, it's really straightforward. I'm not going to make this into a build series. I'll just finish the thing up. Uh, it's a lot more fun for me as well because then I don't have to keep track of uh, the camera and uh, make sure that I record absolutely everything. And this is so straightforward that uh, uh, everybody who will be getting uh, a kit like this that will be able to finish it without any problems. There you have it, fully built, my uh, Proline Pro MT uh, monster truck, 10 scale, I think it's really a 12 scale, really nice uh, thing to build, only took me uh, two hours to put it uh, together, um, again, I will go into a, a tiny bit of, uh, I posted some of the pictures on my Facebook and I got some uh, comments, why no four wheel drive, well, this thing is uh, based on a stampede, it's all the upgrade parts that you get for your uh, tracks of stampede, uh, sort of like the same principle that you had with uh, the Pro 2. Pro 2 uh, started out as a whole line of upgrades for the Slash two-wheel drive. Uh, they tossed everything in one box when they had basically a complete car. Called it a Pro 2. This thing, no different, uh, based on the tracks of Stampede, two-wheel drive. All of the upgrades you can get, toss them in one box and you end up with uh, this with a Pro MT. I think a really nice uh, high quality finish, uh, 10 scale. Uh, monster truck, two-wheel drive, uh, we will see how it holds up, we will see how it uh, performs. I'm really hopeful, I've seen a lot of uh, footage, people uh, jumping it, having good air control. I don't think you would need the four-wheel drive, uh, you would end up with uh, an extra differential as well, extra set of dog bones, uh, drive line that goes from the front to the back, making the truck a lot heavier than, uh, than it currently is. So I'm not too concerned with it. You may uh, agree or disagree with me, but I really like it for what it is. Simplicity is key, especially in something uh, in this scale. One of the main um, misunderstandings about this car is that it is um, a tweaked or a revamped Pro 2. I thought so too at first, because uh, if you look at it, uh, just because of the way that all of the parts look, the anodization, and the plastic, stuff like that, it looks indeed like uh, they just uh, put on a few uh, different wheels, a different body and called it a Pro MT. It's not the case, this chassis is a lot shorter than uh, the Pro 2 chassis. Uh, then you have the different gear in the transmission, also the gear plate is a tiny bit different, I'm not sure if uh, the shape of it is actually different. Uh, or not, but it looks different from uh, the one that I have in my uh, Pro 2. Uh, there's also uh, the, the caster blocks in, uh, in the Pro MT are aluminium, they're plastic in the Pro 2. Uh, and other than that, there's a few washers, bits and bolts that are a tiny bit different uh, from what you would find in your Pro 2. Also, the drive line, the drive shafts, uh, the axles that you have on the Pro MT, 
They're uh, CVDs, uh, telescopic, uh, they call them Pro Spline. Pretty funny, really, uh, well, quite a bit of work to put them together, but they look super stout, uh, hardened steel. Uh, can't wait to see how, to what kind of beating these uh, stand up. Uh, but I think, uh, well, looking at them, looking at the finishing quality of them, I'm not afraid to put a really big uh, Castle Creations motor in uh, this ride, run it on uh, a three, maybe even four uh, cell lipos. So, uh, all that I've left to do right now, paint up the body, install the electronics, install my servo, all of that stuff is of course uh, not included in a kit like this, but it was a really fun thing to put together, it took me only uh, two hours, uh, again I'm not too concerned with uh, taking you through the process of that because it is really straightforward, just a few basic steps in the in the, uh, the manual that you uh, get supplied with it. I also use this uh, Proline uh, pen scale short course or monster truck uh, stand. Found it quite handy to uh, fill my shocks. Comes with uh, with these holes in it, uh, so you can basically uh, take the caps of your shock, put them inside this uh, this mounting system, uh, fill them up, and it makes it a tiny bit cleaner and easier to uh, work on stuff like that. Also to work on your entire truck, you can uh, you can double check everything while it is on the stand. Good thing. Uh, so for me this was a wise investment, also makes it a bit uh, easier to show my cars off when I'm doing some uh, close-up shots. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Uh, don't forget, if you are on the ProLine Racing website, use the code HEMISTORM10, also pass that around to your uh, friends. Uh, for instance, 10% uh, discount. People of uh, ProLine have been kind enough to supply me with a code to hand out to you guys. Uh, and if you want to know a bit more about me or uh, what I do, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook. All the links are in the description box. Uh, of course, do not forget to uh, subscribe to, uh, to this channel. Don't know where the button is, but make sure to click it. And also, if you enjoyed watching this video, uh, don't forget to click the like button. If you have any questions, uh, let me know in the box below, in the comments box. I'll try to uh, respond to them as quickly as possible. And in the meantime, I want to thank you for watching. Uh, I'm going to have fun with this thing uh, over the next few weeks. Uh, not just painting it up, but also bashing the absolute crap out of it, because that's really what it's for. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.